All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Hockey Ultimate Team puck making tip video for you guys. I got one that I uh, sort of kind of figured out the other day that I've been doing um, ever since we kind of started doing the collection type thing. That again, another video will be coming out on soon. Obviously, you guys just probably seen episode two of puck making tips. Um, this is another method for I guess guys who don't have that much money. Um, so what you're gonna need to start with this. Uh, one, uh, this method, I guess I should have said that in the last video, but whatever. You're going to need 600 pucks, which in all honesty shouldn't be that hard for anybody to get. And what we're going to be doing with those 600 pucks is buying a bronze pack. And I know what you're probably looking at me, um, what the hell are you uh, buying a bronze pack for there? I'm going to show you exactly where we're buying a bronze pack. So, there's the flip of the bronze pack. Oh my god, we got ourselves a gold or rare contract. <laughs> whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, now I guess every, what everybody does with the three players or four or five, six players that you get in the pack is very different. I throw these players, I already have him, so he's going to go into my trade pile. <laughs> um, uh, he's going to go to my collection and he's also going to go to my collection, or my, I guess my active roster. Uh, just because, uh, they are going to come into play later on in the game when we go to do the collections for the QMJHL and WHL and some of the Eastern teams and the OHL, uh, they're going to help me out, uh, with player-wise. But right here, this is where your money is in collection wise. Uh, and this is where you make your money back on the pucks. Uh, you can sell some of the players if you get a rare bo uh, a bronze player. You obviously make some decent money off of them, about two, three thousand. So you're making like triple what you get for a pack just in one player. But again, you can make quite a bit amount of money just off of this stuff and break even and make yourself money every hour if you need to. Uh, doing this correctly will get you uh, probably around, I would want to say, you know, if you do it properly, but you probably make about. 20 or so K a day because you probably will make about about a thousand bucks on each pack if you're lucky uh, break you'll break even on every pack no matter what but you probably make about a thousand bucks on each pack if you're lucky so uh, these contract cards I throw up for I'm gonna throw them all in my trade pile and show you because all this stuff is gonna go to my trade pile except for that skater training uh, which isn't a big deal because I use it for the method that I showed you guys last time uh, the goalie stuff but the skater training will go to my consumable pile just because uh, I use it and I can make more money off it without having to spend money. Um, it's actually just a pure profit card for myself. So uh, we're gonna buy one pack, and I'm gonna show you guys what to list, what I list them at, and what I make money on, on, on off of them. I don't know why I'm having a problem speaking. I'm gonna show you guys after that. Uh, so like, as you can see, I'm just gonna show you guys my sold items here from last time. So all these contracts all sold within the hour at 150 a piece. That's a quite fair share, a uh, fair share about of money, um, and just buying but the the bronze pack. So. I got my players up, and they're up there for like, you know, a day or so. Just because players are a little bit harder to sell. And same thing with jerseys. Jerseys are up there for a couple hours. They're a little bit harder to sell than the consumables. So we picked up this Butte. Um, I guess, uh, what's his name? Let's look right now. Can we look? We picked up this Butte, Matt Needham of the uh, Cal Blazers. Uh, so he's going to go up for, I'm going to throw him up for 105 now, 150 by now and put him up for 12 hours and forget about him. Hopefully, you know, someone comes along and snaps him, snaps him up for either 50 or the 150 by now. Um, not really worried too much about Matt Needman, but, uh, you know, he's up there. So, <laughs> we're going to get into these and, uh, the contract. So, what I put my contracts is a starting price of 50, 150 by now, and I throw them up for an hour. No matter what time of the day is, I always throw them up for an hour, nothing more. They will sell, and they will net you money back. I mean, you can put them up for more, but I find with the 150, you buy now you will always sell them no matter what time of the day it is which i like so that's 450 bucks in those three contracts right there so remember we paid 600 bucks for the pack and we paid 450 just on those three contracts look at this fourth contract right here throw it up for starting price of two uh, 100 and throw it up for 250 buy now which will also sell for the 250 buy now so we are now at i believe 650 and our money is made back and we still have cards to list up uh, these cards I like to throw up for a hundred apiece, just the goalie trainings. If you get a skater training, throw them up for about a two hundred apiece or so. Goalie trainings don't really sell for that much, but they will sell for a hundred apiece. And now we are at eight hundred and some odd pucks. And the healing card, we can throw up there for a starting price of a hundred, and I like to throw them up for three hundred by now. So that's a thousand, a hundred pucks, and I'm going to throw this up there for six hours at that price. So, needless to say, if everything sells, this sells at a hundred. And uh, Needham sells at 150. Uh, we'll be making 1,200 pucks off of buying one 600 pack, which is double our profit. Back. And all you know, have to know is how to play the market in that essence, I guess. Throwing it up for a little bit, and you make your money back. I mean, I'd make probably close to two grand if I sold the players that I get out of the packs, but I throw them into my collections. That way, I don't have to buy them later. Same thing with all the jerseys and whatnot. 
But if you don't have a lot of pucks and you want to start to get, you know, increase your puck total, but you don't, you're not really sure how, the bronze pack method, if done correctly, will net you a lot of pucks. I hope this, guys, I hope this tip will help you guys make more pucks and you guys will be able to move on to the other methods um, that I put up on the channel. You know, one of my puck making tips is I think 11,000 views or something on it, which I can't thank you guys enough for. Really do appreciate that. And uh, this video is going to help you guys get more pucks. Um, if you guys have a low amount and you guys need to be able to start. Uh, I have never tried a silver pack and tried to make money back off the silver pack yet. I'm going to see if I can do it. But bronze packs for sure, you make your money back every time off a of bronze pack. And the good thing is sometimes you can get really lucky. And if you're really, really lucky, you might pull a Jonas Rask and go, he goes for 20k. So <laughs> bronze packs, the way to go if you're buying any pack, you're making your money back guaranteed. You're obviously not going to pull a dad to get a bronze pack, but you will make your money back. I hope this guys, I hope this uh, tip helps you guys out, make some pucks. I'll talk to you guys later.